वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल एस्ट्रो डिस्ट्रॉयर वन फोर्टी सिक्स सो दिस इज़ द वीडियो इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन एड टू पॉलिनोमियल्स हैविंग डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स और डिफरेंट डिग्री बाई मेकिंग यूज ऑफ लिंक लिस्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई शोड यू हाउ टू एड टू पॉलिनोमियल्स ऑफ द सेम डिग्री नाउ इन दिस वीडियो एवरीथिंग इज द सेम ओनली द फंक्शन फॉर एडिंग द टू पॉलिनोमियल्स हैज डिफर्ड हियर सो द फंक्शन नेम इज as always the sum of two polynomials but inside this function there is a slight change so i am going to tell you the change only in this video if you want to watch the full implementation of the sum of two polynomials you can watch the previous video so now moving on to this function the sum of two polynomials here as always we have defined two pointers or nodes p and q p is holding the first node or the starting node of the first polynomial and q is holding the starting node of the second polynomial and as always i have defined four integers pow coefficient 1 coefficient 2 and coefficient 3 inside this function now it is going to check whether both of them are equal to null or not that is if both the polynomials or the linked lists are empty we are going to print both the polynomials are empty if the first polynomial or the linked list is empty we are going to print the first polynomial is empty and if the second polynomial or linked list is empty we are going to print the second polynomial is empty now the else condition we have a slight change here so if one of the linked list is having more number of terms or nodes than the other we have to first of all add up all the quotients of the terms which are common to both that is if there are two polynomials suppose the first polynomial is having more number of terms that is it is having degree 3 but the second polynomial is having degree 2 then we have to add up all the common terms that is the quotient of the terms till the second power of x or x squared so that is what we are doing over here so we are going to iterate till p not equal to null and and q not equal to null that is we have to iterate till the common number of terms or the powers of x and we have to add all the coefficients one by one which are common to both the polynomials and then after adding each of the common coefficients we are going to call the insert at end function so that we can insert the corresponding powers as well as the summed up coefficients of the two polynomials and in each of the iteration we are going to move p to the next node and q also to the next node now the extra terms we are going to add to the third polynomial or the sum polynomial as it is suppose in our case if p is having more number of nodes or the first polynomial is having more number of nodes or terms then we are going to insert the corresponding power the extra power as well as the coefficient of p inside the third polynomial or the third linked list by making use of the insert at end function but if q is having more number of terms we are going to do the similar thing to the second polynomial and we are going to add the extra terms of the second polynomial to the sum polynomial or the third one so this is how we are going to do it now let me just compile this and run and show you how it is actually done let me zoom it a bit so that you all can see clearly enter the maximum power of the first equation so let it be 2 the quotient of zeroth power of x is going to be 1 the coefficient of power 1 of x is going to be 1 and the coefficient of power 2 of x also is going to be 1 now let us take a different degree or power of the second polynomial let us take it as 3 the zeroth power of x is going to be 2 first power of x as 2 second power of x as 2 and third power of x also as 2 so as you can see the first and the second polynomials are respectively this and this and the sum of the polynomials are this so if you add this two polynomials then you will get 3 plus 3x plus 3x square plus 
x cube. So this is the sum of the two polynomials. So this is how you can make use of a linked list to add two polynomials having different degrees. So this was the second part of how you can add two polynomials using a linked list. So that's all from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, comment on this video and also share it with everyone you know so that you can get more knowledgeable content and also subscribe to my channel so that I can bring to all of you more important as well as informative content. Until I meet you next time, see ya and keep exploring.